Everybody knows that moving just is hard and it's difficult and you never really know what you're gonna get yourself into, especially if you are moving to an area that you're not familiar with. Well, that's what I'm here for. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about moving to Broomfield, Colorado and why I think you should consider Broomfield as your new home. Let's get started. All right, let's just jump right in. I am Christy Lee and I am a local real estate agent in the state of Colorado. And today I'm going to be talking to you about Broomfield, Colorado and why I think you should move there. All right, the number one reason I think you should move to Broomfield is simply for its location. I mean, it, the location is honestly prime. Um, you are going to be located roughly, I mean, depending on part of Broomfield, but roughly maybe 20 minutes or so outside of Boulder. You're going to be located roughly 30 minutes outside of Denver, um, only about 30 minutes away from DIA, so the airport. So if you're a commuter, you travel a lot, whatever, you could get to the airport. It is just a really, really great location. And then to top it off, number two is the views. The views in Broomfield are honestly majestic. I mean, you could get views really anywhere in Colorado, but the views in Broomfield specifically, because you are so close to Boulder, so the foothills, the flat irons right there, they're just boom, like right in your face. And it really doesn't matter wherever you are in Broomfield, you are going to be able to see these mountain views. And that's what's so amazing when you move to this area. Now, Broomfield as a whole is a little bit larger. We're talking 33 uh, square miles. And so, I mean, it is going to be a larger city than some people either want or need. So do kind of keep that in mind. That is my third thing on why you may or may not want to move to Broomfield is maybe it's too big or too small. I don't know. 33 square miles is what Broomfield is. Um, and actually it takes into account several different counties as well. So also that that kind of helps when you're moving to Broomfield because you could kind of take into account school districts as well when you're moving to that area. So Broomfield is actually located in Broomfield. You are all Broomfield County. You could also be in um, Well County. You could be in Boulder County and you could also be in Adams County. So depending on where you are located within the Broomfield area, you are going to be in different counties. So that's kind of confusing, but that just shows you how large Broomfield as a whole is. Um, another really cool thing, or maybe not so cool, I don't know, depending on how you look at it, is the cost of housing in Broomfield right now. So right now, Broomfield, I would say, is going to be roughly median house price is about $650,000, $650,000. Now, $650,000 is going to get you roughly a house that's built in the 80s, uh, probably, um, maybe a tri-level three bedroom, two bath, that kind of thing. Probably it's been flipped, um, things like that. If you're interested in something newer, um, you will be probably paying more or you could go to like the town home or the attached home style for that 650. If you're wanting anything lower than 650 or you're needing something a little bit lower price point, you could definitely find it for sure in Broomfield without a doubt, but it is just gonna be a little bit older home or you're going to be looking for, you know, the attached homes, the condos, the town owns. Now, new builds. There is amazing communities out in Broomfield that are being built out there right now. I mean, gorgeous communities, but those price points are going to be a little bit higher. So do expect that, but you're paying for the location. You're paying for the house, the size of the house, the amenities that those communities come with. But we're talking probably 750, plus well into the multi-millions. Um, you could definitely get something, you know, mega, like, you know, with an outbuilding or, you know, with amazing views on a golf course, whatever you want it, Broomfield does have it. that I think you should consider Broomfield for is for its employers. So their employers are going to be uh, Vail Resorts. You have Ball Aerospace out there. You have Noodles and Company that actually is out there right now too. Um, you have Crocs. Crocs is actually located in Broomfield as well. SLC or S 
yes, SCL Health. Um, so there's a lot of, um, you know, employers out there. And then actually the median household um, income in Broomfield right now is about $110,000. So it is actually, you know, a little bit higher than some of the other areas around town. Um, so that's just another great factor of living in this area. Um, also, the trail system and the park system in Broomfield is phenomenal. I personally ride on these um, trails, or I used to all the time. Um, so you're gonna have McKay Lake trail system, you know, the dry, big dry creek. Um, trail system and that those are just two you have Rock Creek you have there's so many and anywhere between say half a mile to 13 14 miles long so you're gonna have quite a bit of trail systems and then these trails will also kind of interconnect with each other so especially the, like the dry creek one you could utilize that which is roughly 13 miles but you could actually connect it into other ones Rock Creek or any of the other ones say out in Thornton and you could keep on writing forever. I mean, you could take it out to Denver, honestly. You could take it even farther south if you wanted to. You just connect to all the different trail systems. So Broomfield is definitely known for their parks and trail systems as well. Now, if you have kiddos and you're planning on moving to Broomfield or you're planning on starting a family and moving to Broomfield, you're probably concerned with school districts. Now, funny thing was uh, Broomfield, and I kind of mentioned it pr before, is Broomfield is located in several different areas. Uh, so you're going to be located for school districts in several different areas as well, depending on where you live. So you're gonna either be in Broomfield County, Boulder County School District, uh, St. Vrain Valley School District, Adams, 12 five-star school district. Um, I believe those are the top ones. And Jefferson County, you might have a little bit of Jefferson County in there too. So do note that when you are researching Broomfield and you want a particular school district, definitely you know, you either talk to your real estate agent or talk to you know somebody who knows or do your own research and figure out which area of Broomfield you want to be in in order to get into that specific school district. Now, that being said though, you can open enroll in Colorado. So if you happen to be in one particular neighborhood that you fell in love with in Broomfield, but it, it's not in the school district that you want, you can open your role, your kiddo, into a different school, as long as there's availability, of course, but you would have to drive them there and pick them up and all that stuff because the, the buses won't pick up if it's not in the same school district. But you do obviously have that option as well. All right, and finally, I have a lot of people who reach out to me for rentals or want to know more about renting. And so I would say Broomfield is a great location for renting as well. On average, right now, your average price point for a one bedroom in Broomfield is gonna be roughly about $1,600. Um, two bedroom is mm, 2,000 ish. Um, but what's cool about renting in Broomfield opposed to some of the other areas is while yes, it is maybe a little bit more expensive, a lot of people do rent there is one is because there's a lot of new apartments. There's a lot of apartments out there right now. But two, um, you are so close to Boulder. So a lot of people are renting in Broomfield and commuting to Boulder. So whether that be uh, maybe you're a college student and you don't wanna pay the Boulder prices or maybe you work in Boulder and you know you want to live in Broomfield. Either way, a lot of people are renting in Broomfield and not paying the Boulder prices because that $1,600 in Broomfield will probably, for the same apartment, will probably push you over $2,000 for the same apartment if you were to live in Boulder. So that's kind of something to think about when you're moving to these particular areas. All right, so please reach out to me anytime. I love to help you. I am here to help you. I love making these videos for you, but I love helping you more. So please reach out. Um, remember to click that subscribe button right there. That way you are notified every time I have a new video. And then to the next video, take care.